everybody, Zeo Lightning returns with Let's Play Super Mario Brothers Hammers Edition Part 2, and this is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. In the last part, we started up what is I call Hammers Edition of this game, and it's pretty much the hardest version of Mario Brothers you will ever play, ever. Aside from Lost Levels. If you want to do this code for yourself and try the game out for yourself, refer to the first video. God damn it, Goomba. Caught me on my little leg and... Whew. Catch that mushroom. Oh my god, the game spazzed out because there were so many enemies. Yeah, when there's too many sprites on screen, the game will spaz out. It's only supposed to handle like three sprites at once. Not including Mario. So the mushroom counts as a sprite too. Ow. Use the invincibility frames. Shit. Look at all these Goombas. Unfortunately, this also means enemies don't die by walking off the edge. In fact, they become invincible. Shit. There's hammers everywhere. <sighs> I was trying to see if there was a mushroom in one of these blocks, because I kind of need a mushroom really bad. Mushrooms are my saving grace in this game. What a dick. This coding does mess with the game. Now, even though I got a game over, if you hold the A button and then press start, you can start over in the world you were last in. So, expect a lot of game overs, and I'll try my best to pull, uh, beat this game, but no guarantees on anything. This is this is the hardest uh, version of this game I've played, and the game's freaking out. Okay. Shit the fuck. Luckily, while enemies are defeated when they walk in air, you can actually jump through them, with the exception of the piranha plants. I'm just imagining Mar uh, piranha plants actually throwing hammers at Mario. Mario just going like, what the fuck is going on? I might draw a picture dedicated to this Let's Play. With just random enemies throwing hammers, and Mario's just like, dear god! This is Mario's nightmare, because the Hammer Brother is the most annoying Mario enemy, so just imagine a whole game dedicated to it. I also believe enemies will walk through walls with this code, because not only do they act, not only do enemies act like Hammer Brothers, they act like the moving Hammer Brothers, you know, the ones that move towards you. Those are like the evilest Hammer Brothers there are. I will be using the infinite life trick if when I get the chance to, so I don't, uh, so it'll be a little bit easier and I won't have to be abusing the code and lots of editing because, uh, uh, I won't be, uh, I, I, I'll, I'll probably do some major editing. Let's see if the, uh, fish, yep, even bloopers underwater will throw hammers. Luckily, we can swim over most of it, but we're gonna get in some spots. Where the game's not gonna allow us to do that. Oh shit. Whew, that was close. Yeah, this is gonna be difficult. You gotta be able to swim through all this. Ah, you bitch! Ha ha ha, you motherfucker! <laughs> Oh, that was not fun. Okay, this is where the hardest part of the level is. I 
Yeah, because of that one hit right there. Oh, this part can be really hard, too. Yeah! <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Now, it does start me back at the beginning of the world, but... Because you probably won't most likely be seeing this. I will be skipping out these, uh, you, the prior levels after I beat a level, so it'll be less painful. That's, that's amusing, seeing Goombas kill each other with hammers. Okay, beat this level in one try. I actually think I'll keep that in. That was pretty awesome. But I still have to beat this level. I wish I had a fire flower so bad. Sorry, my swimming skills are not up to par. Ugh. Thing is, they all, enemies will always swim. All enemies will always uh, head towards you, but once you pass them, they just stand around and throw hammers. But if you move left to them, they'll start uh, coming towards you again. Ugh. Ugh. This is the worst. This level alone is difficult. Okay, so I got to the stage with a big. Let's see how my luck changes. I don't know if it's going to change that much. In fact, I might be a bigger Not that I'm big, I might be a bigger I'm a bigger target, so it might be easier to get hit. My god, they're everywhere. Okay. Just let them swim towards me. Damn it! I was hoping to save that. <laughs> oh my god, this is dangerous. You <laughs> fucking troll, cheap, cheap. Oh god, this isn't. Oh shit, son. Okay. No, come on. The way th the way the water works is you'll get uh, uh, if there's a pit with water you'll get sucked down to it like some kind of vertex is sub sub subvertedly down there but it never makes sense and it just makes this part a lot harder like I can somewhat make it past this part relatively simply now. 
Go! <laughs> this fucking level. Oh, oh god, this is a terrible setup. Yeah, I was doomed for that. I should count my blessings that I had a big. Okay, um, the reason why I call it big, if anyone's interested, is that's actually something I used to do when I was a kid, when I played Super Mario World the millions and millions of times I did. Uh, I always called the mushroom a big. I don't necessarily remember why, but... That's what I called it. I didn't know it was a mushroom, actually, back then. That was a bad setup. The fish are actually randomized in where they where they spawn and the amount. And it's random how many hammers they actually throw. So this is this is, really, this is very luck dependent, honestly. But even getting past this level, I think this is not even the worst part. No! What? 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 Yeah. True utter bullshit happened, but somehow in the midst of all that I actually made it here. Huh. And that one didn't hit me. What kind of madness? <sighs> Whatever. The hard part's over. I think. I don't even know anymore. So, I think... I'm not sure this is not the level... Oh, this is the level with flying fish. Like... Do the fish come flying? Oh, no, they don't. Because the way the, uh, the level's programmed, fish don't come flying because they stay down there throwing hammers. So the only thing I have to watch out is, the, like, the very few Koopa Troopas on the stage and the Paratroopa. I don't remember where they where they are. Oh, they don't, are not on the stage. So this is a breather. Ah, relaxing good stage. You know, this code ain't so bad sometimes. I guess after that, after, I guess after the underwater hell, the game figures somehow that it's not programmed even though it somewhat is, that it should give me a break, and it does. And I like it. I enjoy my breaks, thank you very much. At least fire sticks don't have, uh, hammers. With, uh, I'm trying to imagine fire throwing hammers. That would be not only awkward, but fucking annoying as hell. Speaking of fire, wow, okay, I totally let that happen. Suddenly I turned my suck on, and it's, uh, it's on full blast. Uh, I believe the castle that repeats this one is World Sixes, and, uh, on that ca in that castle, that fire stick, that large fire stick that's there is the most annoying thing. I swear. Uh, uh, pro tip, don't hit a block with a fire stick in it when you're big Mario. For some reason, Mario will go through the fire stick and hit, and, and, it's unfathomable. He'll go through the fire stick and, uh, and, and get hit somehow. I've done it many times as a kid. So, how you doing, Bowser? What's up? Yeah, whatever, I'm just gonna take my hit. 
can't take my leaf. Yeah. Thank you, Mario. But our princess is in another castle. All right. Just stage two was hell, so we'll see. We'll have fun times on stage three. Catch you guys then.